Hi guys, so I want to do a general tarot reading message for you. For what is it that you're needing to let go of? Okay, today's message is about what, you, what is it that <clears throat> you are needing to let go of? Apologize in advance for my throat. It's been uh, feeling a bit strange ever since I <laughs> choked on that fish bone the other day. Um, it's kind of on and off, but I think I'll have some chocolate milk later. I think that will soothe it better because I had some hauls and it just expired a week ago. So I'm like, anyway, so what is it that you're needing to let go of? <clears throat> so this is going to be like a three card pick, just a short, simple pick. Again, if you would like to book your own Tarot readings for me, just go to TonyBomboni.com. 10% off code Tony if you're new. 20% off code Tony too if you're returning. All right, let's see. Happy Mother's Day. All you mamas out there. Let's see what is going on. So, oh, I almost picked a card. Okay, I had to stop myself there. All right. Three card pick. I usually like to do a three by three spread. What is it you need to let go? So we're not going to do anything special today. Just keeping it simple here. No crystals needed. I'm trying not to look at it at the same time. Card one. If this just happens to draw you in, pick it. Use energy. Card two. And card three. All right. We don't got to complicate things. I'll do it just one more time. Just so you get the energy. Card one. Card two. And card three. All right. Let's begin. You know what? I got to turn my sprinkler system off. So we'll begin after this short. All right, I am back. So card one, what should you let go? I guess you should let go of working so hard or so much. And just focus on a healthy balance for yourself. Or it also means letting go of the idea of not working so hard and pushing yourself to have a balance. It's okay sometimes if you don't have a healthy balance in your life. It's all right if you're sometimes either this or that, you know, like you need to let go of the idea that you are capable of doing everything perfectly. And even doing everything by yourself. You're needing to let go of thinking that you're able to do the cooking and the cleaning, you know, and taking care of the kids, for example, and then going to school and then working and then doing self-care. Um... <clears throat> you're also needing to let go of maybe feeling like you want to get revenge on someone or feeling like they deserve what comes to them. They deserve what they're getting. A lot of times we hold back how we truly feel, how we what we truly want to express. We, we get vengeful. And I think that Energy now, especially this year, needs to be dispersed away, okay? Into the love and light. You can't hold that on to those feelings for too long because they can cause illness in the body. Um, you also need to let go of your old self. You're coming into your own now. As a, I feel like I'm speaking to a lot of women in card one, okay? It's all female energy here, but it doesn't have to be, obviously, but if you're a man, then fine, you know, you come into your own divine feminine. We all have it. 
Um, but if you, you, you need to let go of even, again, sort of like with the balance card, the idea of being this divine queen, priestess, witch, you know, like you need to let go of any expectation that you're going to transform into that. Transformation in its divine essence takes time. It's a process, it's a journey, and it never ends. And I think there's a lot here that is really speaking to the feminine energy, but also to humanity in general, that we need to release these preconceived notions of ourselves, like what is, is expected of even a woman, or what is expected of you just because you have kids, for example, or, you know, I could go on and on with this. So it's sort of like a contradictory reading, like whatever that you're doing too much or you're doing right now, it's almost trying to say like, let go of that, do something else or do something different, right? And if your headspace is in more like a revengeful mindset, let that go. That's kind of all I'm seeing because I feel like a lot of our source of frustration comes from unforgiveness in our hearts from some one who did us harm, okay? So if you picked card reading, number two, I told you these were going to be very short. <laughs> Just a sneak preview. This detailed stuff is for your booking. So um, I at least want to give these as a freebie, you know, as kind of like, I guess, a gift from me to you, even for booking. Um, let's see here. My dog has been coming to me lately with readings. I thought it was just with one person's reading. They do, animals do sense a lot, okay? They do sense energy. He's coming through with his filthy paws. I just wiped because we had to go turn the sprinkler off. Yes, and he loves when I do these readings. He comes in this room like every time I start a reading. Like with the Reiki, no. With the candle wax reading, no. <laughs> As soon as I start the tarot reading, he's coming in here. This <laughs> look at his little eyes peeking through. There's something about it, my little handsome. All right, but um, you can lie down. It's okay. Card two, what do you need to let go of? Really, in this moment, you need to let go of always having to win. Always having to be victorious. Always having to be like, yes, number one, the conqueror. Um... Because you will fail. <laughs> this in itself is in reverse the Ten of Swords. But it's telling me like a message that just you will undoubtedly fail if you set yourself up for that. And what I mean is that if you don't let this feeling of always having to conquer go. Now I feel like I'm speaking more to men. But it's also women. But it's more like uh, maybe even women who are more in touch with their masculinity. This is who I'm speaking to in this reading. Um, I see a lot of like physically fit people as well. Okay. Maybe a bit more buff or muscular. Um, also needing to let go of like this fear of rejection or, or like putting people's opinions off in a way, like deflecting people's negative opinions of themselves. I know it's hurtful, like to hear something you don't want to hear, you just immediately want to block it out. It's human nature. You know, we tend to stray away from pain. <laughs> I mean, we don't really want to be uncomfortable, right? It's just how it is. Um, we, we, we feel things, it's human nature. We feel pain and who wants to feel pain all the time, even internally. So even with our own mental dialogue, like, so let go of the idea of like, the fear of like you step out into the world and you're afraid you get anxiety if someone's critiquing you in some way something like that okay um needing to let go also of yeah what i just said i i, I would love to give more in-depth advice but this is more specifically of like what we need to focus on i don't i suppose we just need to take the blindfold off as this card portrays of a fear in itself because there's nothing to fear in reality right um and in some way people are just 
um, portraying how they themselves feel on others. It's never about you. So why are we afraid of hearing what people feel about themselves? If you really think about it. Um, so you also need to let go of some of you maybe like a, a pity party kind of vibe or also could be like I'm just going to play dumb or lost or confused just because I, I don't want to focus on the real issue at hand. And this is a very complex scenario because I feel like you're doing all three of these at the same time. You don't really know what it is that you should work on first. Then just do one thing at a time. We can't do everything in one day. And something's always going to come up. So don't have a false expectation of getting everything resolved immediately either. Again, human nature. <laughs> um, so... It's a lot, okay? That could also be why I saw like a mix of masculine and feminine because it's like, could also be trying to tell me the mix of, the mix of two or three different kind of, I wanna say like forces or opinions, how you, how you perceive the world in a sense. I'm seeing a lot. I can't even explain what I'm seeing, but um, yeah. You, you gotta let go a lot. That's that's all I'm gonna say, <laughs> okay? Um, we tend to hold on to things that uh, just don't really serve a purpose. Like a grudge. I all of a sudden saw the word grudge as well. There, there's a lot, okay? Um, you have to choose your battles sometimes. It's funny because she's in the two swords in the middle she's choosing between this or this letting go of this thing or this thing you choose what you need to let go of first in your heart and go from there okay card three final card all right these are all upright awesome uh this feels um somewhat more positive here not that the other words weren't but <laughs> some of them like lighter subjects some of them are very deep and heavier subjects um, just let go of success, let go of having to succeed, let go of the expectation of success. A lot of this is just really like the expectation of, or the thought of, or, you know, something like that. Let go of always having to succeed. Let go of always having to, like the last pick a card, win. Um, again, sometimes... You just need to pick what's the best thing. You have maybe many options, even with career, your work, your job, your business, right? And the clouds are vast. I mean, you could go even beyond the clouds. You see these clouds here? You could go beyond the clouds in the sky, but you need to pick and choose what is the best for you within your territory, okay? It's like staying in your lane, but your lane is the sky, so it's kind of hard to stay in your lane when you don't really have a painted stripe highway in the sky it's just kind of out there and clouds move and birds move and you don't know where you're going and you could crash into a plane I mean, <laughs> or elon musk's rocket i mean <laughs> oh my god um so you have what i'm trying to say is many opportunity to win but also to fail so i guess in a sense if you're so focused on getting ahead you're failing do you know what i'm saying like you're not necessarily winning because you're winning so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, again, just like letting, having to let go of the idea of being a strong person. Like someone told you, it's okay, honey. Someone passed on, just, just be strong, be brave. It's like, well, I can't, <laughs> you know? probably maybe tired or worn out of even people telling you that. It's okay. Um, mm -hmm. Letting go in general, you need to let go. 
in general. This is just like, let go in general. This is really just saying that. Be free, be a, be a young person again, okay? That's how you'll gather your strength and succeed for yourself. That's where your success will come from. So thank you guys so much. This was wonderful. And I will see you in the next vlog. Hope this helped. Bye-bye.